As they walk past his brilliantly colored images of daily life, they're led by an unassuming Chicagoan, often called the world's greatest living artist. I have no idea what they're talking about. It just makes no sense to me. <laughs> they're reflections of what he sees, men conversing at a barber shop, children saluting the American flag, women chatting at a beauty salon. There's magic to be had there. But they are also Kerry James Marshall's reaction to what he didn't see on the walls of the world's art museums. And it becomes clear to you after a while that there's an absence of yourself or images that look like you in the museum. His subjects are almost exclusively African American. Families enjoying picnics at the beach or a mother waving to her children. The backdrop is sometimes crime plagued corners of a city like Wentworth Gardens. They never show up in the conversation unless somebody's talking about something problematic. And I wanted to always work against that. In a nation still struggling with racial injustice, curators say Marshall's works have grown more poignant. There's so many aspects of it that are so relevant to this very moment in time that we can all think about and that we can all grow with. From his wedding portrait of Harriet Tubman to couples enjoying just being together, Marshall's paintings also celebrate love. I was always romantic. <laughs> Here, a joyful couple poses for an Instagram-like moment, a slice of life now in a museum that Marshall hopes is colorblind. When those images no longer become extraordinary but become commonplace, that's when you will know that you've succeeded. At the Museum of Contemporary Art, Vince Girasoli, CBS2 News. Carrie James Marshall Mastery runs April 23rd to September 25th at the Museum of Contemporary Art in Streeterville.